Well, it's a delight to be here tonight. It has absolutely been a pleasure to me to meet you folks first time. And uh, so it's been a, a real joy for me to be here this week. I appreciate the pastor allowing me to be here and inviting me to come. And I just hope that maybe you in some fashion from the Word and the Spirit of God have received something from Him. So it's been a joy for me to be here and uh, just thank God for every opportunity that He gives. Tonight, though, if you have your Bible, let's look into Philippians chapter 4. If you brought a, a book with you, Bible book, Holy Bible, look into it tonight. And uh, if you don't have one, look on with somebody else. It's very important you read the Word of God for yourself and get it for yourself. But uh, I'm going to begin to read verse 6. Very familiar passage of Scripture. But there's something powerful here that will help us to be stable. See, we need stability. Have you found it? Say praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. All right, that's most of you. Here we go. He said, be careful or be anxious for nothing. But in everything, by prayer and supplication, with thanksgiving, let your requests be made known unto God. Verse 7, And the peace of God which passeth all understanding shall keep your hearts and minds through Christ Jesus. And so I want to just speak a little tonight, knowing that our nation itself, we're in a very shaky period, and people have great anxieties, worries, fears. I battle it myself, and I'm pretty sure that everybody here tonight has uh, wrestling matches with it, but we find out that the, the apostles trying to direct us to God because God cares for us. God is in tune, but we've got, he said, don't let anything, don't be careful, don't worry, don't let anxiety trouble you. And he said, be careful for nothing, but with everything, in every avenue of your life, by prayer and supplication, with thanksgiving, let your requests be made, made known unto God. And I just want to encourage you tonight that everything, every victory, every battle is won or lost simply because of the thoughts of your mind. Yeah, come on. And uh, everything, the enemy comes against you with thoughts. And I personally have come to believe, now you have your own opinion, I'm sure, but I believe that even most sickness and disease starts with the root of the thought in your mind. Yeah, come on. Uh, I think that's probably why the pharmacies have caught on to uh, advertising for you to uh, get your flu shot because they place the thought in your mind, just for example. And you begin to, yeah, I guess I'm better. And so you go off and get your inoculation and end up with the flu anyway. That's not how it works. You praise yourself happy. Yeah. <laughs> and your, your burdens have all rolled away and you feel good. I mean, it was the same thing yesterday, and it might not have been 10 minutes ago, but you, you've uh, succeeded in resisting that urge or the tendency to be a uh, doubter and a powder, and uh, instead of being an uh, overcomer and a shouter. Yeah, come on. Come on. It's a choice every day. You just have to rise up. It's all right here. Uh, right up here. Touch your little self right there. Come on. It's right up there. Right up there where it's all at. The victory is won or lost. Right there. Yeah, it's sort of pain hitting you. I hear it so many times. Oh, I must be taken. In the name of Jesus, I refuse this. I won't accept this. Amen. It's contrary to my covenant with my God. That's right. Amen. Right? We're in covenant with God. And God's not going to violate His side of it. So it's mine. I have to tend my side of this deal, and God will do the rest. So I just leave this with you here tonight. Don't let your heart be troubled. Neither let it be afraid. Yeah, there's a lot of things going on in the land, but keep your eyes uh, up on the heavens, because Jesus said, when you see these things come to pass, I mean, read that in the Bible. Uh, the signs of the time, you see them come to pass. What are you supposed to do? Chew your nails and, and say, whoa, it said, no, lift up your head. In other words, begin to look 
for the promise of God the Father that in the, the time is getting right and Jesus is going to come on the clouds of glory. I hope you believe that. Uh, it's called the rapture and he's coming to take the, the church out of this present condition, this world. And he said, lift up your eyes and, and because your redemption drawing nigh. And, and you just begin to keep looking up. I don't Probably don't mean literally, you know, walk, walk around like this, but you might get some attention if you did that. So what you do it. So I'm looking for Jesus, you know. And that really, that really blows you up and takes you somewhere, I'm sure. But, but anyway, I think it's more of a, of a heart attitude and a mind attitude. Do you think so? Yeah. I really think so. I think it's more of what's inside you and you've got yourself set. And you're not going to let your, uh, the issues of the world, trouble, woe, and we all have them. But the, the, the key is don't let them have you. Amen. Amen. Yeah. Uh, the, the old saying is a bird can fly over your head, but don't let him build a nest in your hair. And the definition of a mindset is simply that you've got yourself made up. And your mind is set on a particular way or thing, and you're not going to be turned from it, whether it's right or wrong. You just have a mindset. Amen. Well, I've seen the times I didn't have a mindset. I wouldn't have got out of bed and went to work. That's right. Am I? Right. Because everything up there, everything inside. No, we don't want to go. Uh, Maybe ever have that voice. We want to stay here. <laughs> Don't want to go to work. But you, have, you know, you have that mindset and you rise up. And you can do the same thing spiritually in life with God. And you choose to walk there and let this mind be in it. Let it. If you'll get out of the way and let it, it'll get in you. And you begin to change your way of thinking. Yeah, Jesus was the most positive person I have ever read and studied. Yeah. Read the four Gospels. Never talk negative in the face of storms or in the face of death or in the face of calamity or sickness and disease. He never spoke one negative right. issue about any of it. And again, that means he kept his saying, so let this mind be in you, this positive thanking God, Jesus the Christ, and it get on the inside of you and you become an overcomer just like he was because of what he has given us